What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. If you like SBC tips, trading advice, how to complete objectives and much much more, even player reviews, icon reviews, SBCs for example, daily ones, are they worth it, how to complete them, then why not hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell so you do not miss a future video because we have got all the FIFA content you need on this channel. So obviously the new team of the week is out, we've got ourselves the featured team of the week today, it is the right wing back or right back for League 1, he does play for Lens. Jonathan Claus, last year he had a really good boosted card eventually through FIFA. This year, yeah, it's boosted compared to what it should be, but I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look like the best right back. They are struggling for right backs. So we've got Hakimi and that Traore road to the knockouts. And then after that, there's not many. Obviously, a Tau team of the week as well, actually, mentioning. But you can see he's got high, high, right footed, three star, three star. He looks like a box to box sort of winger, as in like he's going to be attacking, a bit like how Liverpool set up. In terms of statistics, great acceleration, great sprint speed. Uh, attacking position is quite good. Crossing is very good. Short pass is good. Composure does let him down, but his agility makes up for it, as well as his dribbling and ball control. Interceptions could definitely be higher. Defensive awareness could be higher. Standard tackle, slide tackle, again, could be higher. Stamina, 99, perfect. His jumping isn't the best, and obviously his strength isn't that great, and he comes in at 5'10", and he only has early crosser trait. If we just were to take him out the club ever so quickly and also look, take out Traore, we can compare the right backs or defenders, as it were, in League 1. So we can compare to see if he actually is an improvement of what we have already or not. So we'll just put this to defender when my controller wants to do its job. There we go. So we look here, we've got Kimi and Claus there. Again, Akimi's obviously faster, but one overall. It's faster, less shooting, more passing, same dribbling, same defending, and less physical. So in that, he looks very good. And then obviously compared to Treore, uh, with the comparison, we'll compare them actually on the menu because it'd be much easier. And you can just see there the difference. In terms of caliber of price, it just honestly depends. What you want to do, if you want someone that's going to be more attacking or someone that's going to be more defensive. I like Traore more because, not because his defending is higher and his physical, it's because of uh, just how he feels in game. He is smaller, but he seems to tower. And having 92 jumping is massive compared to Claus there. As you can see, they are very close neck and neck. But that's the whole point of a review. It's going to be a really good review today because we do use Traore in our main team, as you can see from here. We will make him a right back and just stick him actually on proper chemistry. And we'll just leave them on basic and then we'll have a look at the end of the game on foot being the best chem styles and etc but let's just go jump into a game and see how we get on we are struggling to find a game it seems to be a problem recently and friendly so we're going to jump into elite division rivals obviously it's be a good test for him we'll see how we get on obviously the team's ready uh a few things i'm looking at on what people are saying about this adidas promo just a bit off topic um if you don't know how it works basically Depending on what style of boot they have, they get a 99 rating. So it doesn't get 99 straight away, it upgrades over time. It's just something to look at. I will cover a video later on about something you guys are interested in. But we do find ourselves a game here, so let's jump in. Hopefully he has got a good team to test out this clause. I wouldn't be investing in any cards at the moment, especially with that promo screen. Okay, so we have got a very strong team here. Nice red. But let's see how Claus gets on. The main thing for me is his ability to pass and win in the air. Obviously, we know his jumping isn't going to be very high. Uh, in terms of chem style, I'd pro I don't even know. I'd have to have a look. I don't think Shadow's are one because his pace is so high anyway. Obviously, you could just max it out by keeping him on basic. So it is something we'll have to look at for sure. But today, we are going to be playing a 4-3-2-1 formation. Obviously, Claus is a right back. I do like to push forward so slightly with my right back. So he is going to fit into that mold very well. But that'd be one of those things we have to see. Very lucky there. Village has got tackled there. So we get Claws on the ball for the first time. He looks like he's quite agile. Obviously, his agility is quite high anyway, but in terms of body type. Nice little ball. Trying to feed him out at the minute. Feels very good on the ball. Can execute skills, which is nice. Push him down the line. Got him in. Lovely ball. Nice early cross. That wasn't the best cross. With early cross trait, that was a very poor cross. You can see, using him in attacking sense, he does open up an option for you there, which is very nice. Get back on the ball again here, looking for that ball down the line. We play it nice and early. Lovely ball down. Messi's going to play it back. One more back in. Oh, he's offside, unfortunately. Try to play it quickly there, little one-two. Just see if we can play the ball down the, down the byline with him, because, again, that's going to be important in transitions. Obviously, it's not all about attacking. It is defending with him as well. Our opponent is trying to stay away from him, as you can see here. Messi through again. We play the ball down the line. 
I mean, it's gone off as a poor ball there, not the greatest. He's trying to stay away from that clause as much as he possibly can. He's refusing to go. We do get him here. Weird animation there, but we do manage to hold the defender, the attacker off even. Bit of a weird animation, I can't lie to you. Do push forward. We can push him up the field again. Nice ball into Wijnaldum. Looking for that option. We're going to let Messi run for us. That's a lovely little run there. So we use him as a default run. Messi, what a tackle. We get the lucky goal in the end, though. Somehow. But sometimes you've got to use your right back as an attacking presence to make the fake run for one to open up a space for another. Obviously, using him as an attacking player at times is going to open that option for us very nicely. So we do execute that move perfectly. I do do that a lot. You force the ball for the first 10, 15 minutes. And then afterwards, you've got yourself an option. We've got Messi clean through here. What a ball. No option, no. You manage to hold on. The keeper up. The wow now, them too. Bernardo shoots. Poor shot. But you can see he can drill the passes in greatly. I'm trying to get him on the defensive side of things a bit more. But our opponent's being a bit weird. Very lucky there. Get claws back on the ball. But he feels very good on the ball. Animation feels good. Do ball roll past the opponent there. Drill past another one. Do get caught out. But unfortunately, we get a throw in. We're going to see if we get one of these early crosses in. As one of his traits are early crosser. And can to clean up nicely. Claws, he just wants to stay away from him. He doesn't want to go anywhere near him. I suppose that's a good thing, but at the same time, we do want to see what his ability is like tackling. It'd be nice if I could select him there to bring him over. Good tackle again from Kimpempe. Again, let's get him on the transition. Claws, using, again, there's a lacking in strength there. That wasn't Neymar, I wasn't exactly the most strongest person. That was me forcing the run with him ever so slightly, though, at the moment. I'm going to push Claws forward, get one out and go in. Claws open up there, lovely. See, we get that cross to back post Smith row. Not the bad ball. Oh, good defender from Marquinhos there. But you can see he can definitely whip the ball in. Let's see what his statistics are like on the corner. So he's got 88 power, 59 accuracy, 78 curl, 51 pen. So he's definitely not an option for corners. That is for sure. Or set pieces in general. But I think if you are struggling in terms of attacking presence, we get my volley. Oh, I had to take that shot then. If you are struggling in terms of like an attacking presence, you could definitely drop him into the CDM role. Just because of his pace and it'll help clean up. Nice little ball there again. Get claws back on the run. But he is causing a lot of problems for our opponents. He does make a nice run through here. Trying to force the ball, unfortunately. We won't use him so attacking now. We'll let him sit back and see how he gets on defensively. As obviously he's out of position right now. Let's clear it off away from our lines at the moment. Smith throw, nice touch. As we are in half time. So far, I've been thoroughly impressed by Claws. I do think he's much better going forward than he is defensively so far. In the second half. We won't push him up anywhere near as much. We'll just sit back with him and see how we get on in terms of defending with him. Not really bothered about winning or losing this game. It's more just seeing how he feels in game. Obviously, that is the most important thing to feel. I'm a bit cautious with his yellow. I don't want him to get sent off because it would be my mistake. But in terms of uh, performances, he's playing very well. Again, in terms of attacking, he's very, very good. Reminds me of a towel in so many ways. Get him on a ball here nice and early. That driven pass. Again, almost every player can do it, but he does. the main thing for me is his agility being so low, that uh, so high, sorry, that he can uh, do the animation well. Obviously, giving the ball away isn't the most ideal thing, as we do get a recovery. We can see his recovery speed wins the ball back for us. And now we have got plenty of time to switch the ball over, because he can play that pass. And we're about to be attacked there. So in terms of defensiveness, it does look like he can do the job. That's poor passing, though. We are doing this now to keep the pressure up. He's probably just scored from that Ariola great save. But as you can see here, down the line, not a problem. Into transition, one more, one more, one more. Like, it's just so easy to play around people. Of course, there's nowhere to go though, so our teammates didn't move. I think he has. Unfortunately, he scored. It is 1 1. He is staying away from him now. I don't know if you've noticed. He is trying to stay away from Claws. He keeps going the left hand side. Oh, there's a reason for that. I think it's just because of his pace and his recovery speed. And we are 2-1 down, two goals out of uh, out of our control, really, in terms of uh, using claws there. But it's one of those things, yeah, you need to patch this at some point. If you don't know what that is, just Google corner, uh, sorry, YouTube uh, corner glitch. It will come up <laughs> with what it is. And you'll just, use every time in the Elite Division, you just can see them nonstop. Claws there. So he keeps passing away from him, and then he goes to switches it. He doesn't want to go anywhere near claws. It's quite embarrassing, really, for this guy. He's got a mega team, like, come on. He won't see. He won't go to the left hand, the right hand side where Claus is. He wouldn't go to the left hand side in the first half. He has finally got here. We pushed him out wide. He's going to have to cross that in, not a problem. And he's got no options again. 
we read the ball out. He won't go anywhere near that side. I really, it's really annoying. Do get managed to get him down the left hand side this time. See if he plays that ball. The that's why he won't want to go anywhere near. Claus uses his strength, his pace, completely out muscles Donado Silva there. And now we've got the counter attack down the line. That's why he won't go this side. He knows the danger of it. That's a poor ball from Benzema though. And we have equalized there, but you can see why he won't go down the right hand side. Claus bullies the man there, gets the pace, gets the ball back, plays the ball down the line. We get a little bit of luck, and then all of a sudden we've got a goal. That is why he's staying away from that side. Okay, I passed the ball to Benzema there. I don't know if you just saw that. It wouldn't let me be him. I could have just scored there. But he has gone down the left-hand side. Claus in a two-on-one situation there. We need to see how he deals with this. Yeah, and I don't know where Kimpempe was there. Luckily got enough, good enough save, but he keeps trying to force the ball early because he knows... I can't stress about it enough, but he knows that Claus is going to have him in his pocket. Winner. He's offside. No, so it is going to end as a draw by the looks of it. Overall, though, he's held his own in the elite division, I will be honest. We were down a lot. The fact that our opponent keeps going the other side to stay away from him. Oh, let's see this game out first. Yes, I think he scored. Yeah, he scored the winner, of course. One minute of extra time, and it's two minutes 32 played. Oh, how many times that happened to everybody here, I'm sure? As we're, that is going to be the end of the game. Yep, sure. Yeah, it's one of those. 45th minute goal, but the result's relevant. Ir irrelevant, even, sorry. Overall, he seems like a good card. I think he's going to be discard value again, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, where is he? Yes, so he got 6.4. That's because he didn't get any assists or anything, and obviously conceding five goals doesn't help, even though half of them weren't his fault. But in terms of dribble, he had seven, uh, 27 dribbles, 23 complete. Felt really good on the ball. Again, because he's quite small, very high agility, balance. It does help him out. Shooting not important. Passing, 25 passes, 19 complete. Very impressed with that. And then defending, one tackle, one complete. Two interceptions, one block. He was beaten by the opponent three times, but he did recover and get the block in. But he's one of those cards where there are obviously other choices. You've got a tower who's similar, five star, five star. It depends what you want. If you pack him and you've got a tradable card, why not replace him out? He's going to be good for other objectives and stuff. Obviously, being 84 rated doesn't mean he's going to make your team rank go up too high. But it's one of those. But let's just go jump onto Footbin and see what they're saying for best chem styles and prices. And we'll be right back. So as you can see, right now he's 34k on PlayStation and 31k more or less on Xbox. This will drop down over promos. I guarantee you that, especially with this new Adidas promo coming out. As you can see, he got a really high boost. What's that? Three. He got a plus seven. Uh, in terms of actual boost on the card, though, nothing too crazy. Plus five, seven, 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 nine, eight. But I do like the card. I do think it's a good card. People are saying Anchor is probably his best chem style. Anchor makes him a 86 right back. Just boosts his defending up more. I do think after saying that, I said Shadow probably wasn't his best one. It depends what you want to do. It makes him 88. I'd probably go for Shadow. Just ignore the fact that it boosts up his pace to what it does. And it just boosts up his defending so high. But I do enjoy the card. Do I think it's going to be worth the coins? Definitely not. It'll drop down. Uh, and then obviously there are better choices. We saw Akimi is very close. Obviously with the Akimi links, it makes it better for him in terms of prices. You've got Traore, who's probably going to get a plus two very soon. If they win one more game in their Europa Conference games, he's going to get a plus two for winning and qualifying. So it's just something to consider. And then you've got yourself Adetau. Team of the week as well, who's five star weak foot, which makes a big difference in terms of how uh, things are in FIFA. But yeah, I do thoroughly enjoy the card. He does feel very good. Again, it's just a cheap option for your team. If you need a French right back, he's probably the best one for you. But that's going to be the video for today. So if you have any questions or anything, that comment down below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell so you don't miss a future video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Spree, let my enemies know when I reach